this is Stampy, and welcome to a new episode of Squashy and my Skyden! Good morning, Rabbit Railway. Good morning, Barry the Bear. Good morning, Ender Dragon. And good morning to you, Mushroom Mountain. I wish the dragon was a little bit over there, and then I could have the perfect view. It's kind of funny just seeing it lurking in the, the background, to be honest. <laughs> and speaking of lurking in the background, there's there seems to be... Someone gargling. It's like someone's just brushed their teeth and they're they're gargling. It's about to spit it out. Have you just are you brushing your teeth, Squishy? I'm, try, I'm trying to think what. Yeah, I got the new game. I'm trying to guess what skin you are before I see you. My guess is like turkey. You sound like a a gobbling turkey, but I don't think there is a turkey skin. Let, let, let's see. Let, let's try and see what it's gonna be. Unless you're some sort of little creature. Some sort of little little gremlin or something? No, nope, just a, a whole load of animals in there. <laughs> oh, oh, may, oh, maybe you're just underwater. <laughs> Pardon? I'm trying to think. There wasn't really where anywhere where you could be underwater, really. Not that I can I can think of. Um, do you want, do you want to give me a, a little bit of? A, oh, tracks. Broken sticks. <laughs> um, hey, would you want to give me a little bit of a, a clue, whoever it is I'm looking for? Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Oh, this isn't good. Look at this, look. One, two, three in it on the grass. Right. Actually, I got a few suggestions for a tactic I could use for the, the grass race in order to speed things along. And let me, let me see if this is going to work at all. If I do this... And then do this, if I do this. Apparently, I don't want to say what it is because I don't want Squashy to hear and copy my tactic. Apparently, this is going to help. So, let's see. But first, I need her to, to find where Squishy is, no matter what she's dressed as. Can I have a, um, can I have a little bit of a clue, please? <laughs> that's, that's not really a clue. That doesn't, that hasn't really helped me. <laughs> you sound like you're speaking as if I should be able to understand you, but you know you're not you're not using words. They, they, these aren't words that you're that you're saying. <laughs> I kind of wanna I kind of wanna upload the video with just your commentary and not mine, and just just have this as just what all the commentary is. <laughs> Right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get on with building. Um, oh, I thought that was yours. Are you? Was, did I see something? Nope, that was just a cow. Right, as soon as you're not giving me a clue, I can't walk around for the entire Audrey. video, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Audrey. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we have a little bit of a, a clue. <laughs> I do remember when hide and seek would be like, you know, oh, for the first ten seconds of the game, which tree is Squishy hiding behind? To so where it's now like. You know, like such a big thing. Right. Over by Well, I, I guess that you, you were in water. Oh! <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Um, are, are you hungry? Ah, it's hungry. Right, what do octopi eat? Uh, would you like um, pork chops? No, no pork chops. Would you like some apple? Oh, no, 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 no apples. Oh, I know what you like. Melon. Octopus absolutely love melon. Yeah, have you see an octopus in the wild? <laughs> they absolutely love it. Oh, there you go. You can get, get your, your tentacles uh, around that. <laughs> right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and head over to the, the mushroom mountain. If you see a, a, a duck around her at all, uh, tell her to, to go and join me over there, okay? You can sit in your, in your little pool. <laughs> okay. Why are you beefing? It's like a robot. It's a robot octopus. Oh, that's why. Because robots really like eating melon as well. <laughs> right then. Squishy, have you have you returned? Hi. Hi, Squishy. Hi, You've ju you just missed him. There was an octopus here a second ago. You wouldn't believe it. What? I thought any squid spawned in Minecraft. That makes no, no sense. No, there was an octopus spawn. I think it was one of Audrey's no. alien robot friends. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. He, he, he was eating. He was eating all our melons. It was. It was crazy. Wow. That's cool. Like I didn't. Yeah. You know, I'm not very keen on melons myself. I mean, it's. Uh, it's quite. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, your your, your whole. Where, where did you get those? Oh, me those melons oh, look very this, familiar. This Wait a minute. Be... I recognise so... that pattern of seeds in that no, melon. No, no, Wait no, a minute. Whoop out. 
Did you set up a deal with the octopus to get him to steal melons and give them to you? Uh, no, I don't. I don't even like melons. Squishy. I don't even. I don't even like. Squishy. Um, 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 Have you been stealing my melons again? This is ridiculous. This is this is the fifth time this week you've been stealing my melons. Every every time in a new disguise or with a new strategy, some alter ego you come up, some some melon grabbing device you've constructed. I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up. You stop stealing my melons. No. <laughs> I have I the right anyway, to steal doing? your melons. Well, instead of having these these ladders, I was thinking because because I built my lovely water elevator. This can be the the ceiling of the the restaurant here, and then we can do it so you can go in the the elevator to get to the the top. The nostrils. Do you think that, that's a good idea? The nostrils. So I, I'll dig away these ladders, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess I can go and sort this bit now. I might get a little bit wet. Um, no, there we go. I got oh, I got dear. lucky. So if I get um, actually, no, that water uh, still needs to be there. So if I make a uh, um, uh, a pressure uh, plate, uh, that should be able to keep the water in. Uh, do you have any... Oh, actually, I could use a sign here. That'd be handy. Do you have any wood on you at all? Yeah, I went down and cut some trees. I did, Stampy. Did you? Oh, oh I, I just realised you got you got rid of the ladders really quick. I need, <laughs> I need to use them one more time. Wow, actually, I could. Okay. Here's some ladders. Here's uh, some thank you. wood. Right, if, if I break this away now, uh, which I might rain a little bit, just be prepared. Um, yeah, it's raining a little bit. Um, all right, if I just do... Uh, a pressure plate would be best eventually, but I can use a sign for now. Yeah, so this way we can just get out and then carry on going uh, up I to like the, the top it. to where the, the rooms are going to be. I think this, cool. is, this is pretty cool. So what's going to be on this floor here? Are we going to have the rooms here? Or we should have I think, like I think the we could have something else here. Ah, well, yes, this this is the entrance, isn't it? This is the, the doorway here, isn't it? So yeah. this can be like, this can be the, the lobby. And then the floor above can be where the, the no, okay, the, the floor above can be like the amusements place. That's where you can go out and the no slide and things. Fun yeah, there can be a, a little dance floor, you know, a, a, a mushroom dance party. We agreed and on that and then above at the that, meeting. We did, so. Did, did we? Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a so bad memory. Happened. Do you have any more dirt, by the way? I'm running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running low. Say the magic word. All right. Can I have some dirt, please? Seeing as you stole my melons, I can have a little bit of wood as well. I just basically need to make a, a few pressure plates as well. So um, annoying. <laughs> are you gonna throw them grain by grain of dirt? Is that the one? Yeah. You're... <laughs> He's just so sort of flick them at you. There you go. One. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, so what are we thinking for the the lobby then? Oh. More down here as well. You okay, I'm, I'm going to get on with my cafe area. I don't know if this is done yet. I'm like, I'm at, I'm at a loss. I might get rid of these doors. I think they're a bit in the way. Um, yeah. What do you think? What do you think I should do down here? Should, should, should the cafe um, should be filled with tables? Uh, it depends how busy. Do, do you think we're going to be busy enough? Like, there's nothing worse than having a really big place full of tables and no one there. Because it's like, oh, it's not popular. But if it's like a small place with not as many tables, then it's like, it's cool mm. and indie. Yeah, but that stands, that still doesn't answer my question. Um, but, but um, great, thanks. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I, I feel like we could have like what else could there be like oh we could have a um like a band like have like a little mini stage okay and and we can and we can put on music for each other and like like uh, we can have like an open mic like comedy routine area and we can have um different different comedians can come in and perform comedy it can be like like a comedy club restaurant okay yeah and all the jokes <laughs> have to be about mushrooms <laughs> that, okay. that's the only the only limitation so uh, there aren't um, a huge amount of mushroom comedians but uh, we, we could get them all and uh, we, they could we could bring them in ah, okay um i had an idea i'm gonna like make some colored rugs i need to get some like um uh red wool so i'm gonna do that that's my, that's my challenge. okay do you have any more dirt or do i need to go buy some wow you just use do you want to just have my inventory is that is that what you're trying to get <laughs> can, can we just swap everything we have yeah right now? do you, you, know, you want to do I that yeah I don't, I don't know i don't know i got all my tools and i, I got my buckets they're like quite precious because they're iron and things <laughs> I, when i got them i could no i don't, I don't want to swap i don't want to swap i just i just want your dirt i i, I come up with a good trade what, what, what are you after what are you in the market for um, I need red flowers. Red flowers. Okay, tell you what, if I get you red flowers, yeah. you're gonna trade, trade trade me with dirt, okay? Okay, that's fine. What's the what's the exchange rate? What's the the flower to, to dirt the ratio? The exchange rate. Exchange rate. No, it's an exchange rate. It's an exchange rate. <laughs> 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 
How, how, um, how many red flowers do, 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 you, piece do you need? Per piece of dirt. Um, you can have a stack of dirt for five flowers. Ooh, that, that doesn't sound too bad. Right, I've got two already. Well, let's see if my if my water strategy worked. I used to don't know what that is. And it... Oh, has it worked? Maybe. Oh, did people tell you to put water by it? Yeah, that doesn't work. Does, does that know? I, I didn't think it did, but lots of people said it. There were lots of comments and lots of people thumbing them up saying to add water. And I, I didn't think it worked, but so many people no. said, so I thought it's I'd, all random. I'd give it a go. It's generated randomly. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, Sorry. gave it a go. Oh, flowers in here. Don't mind if I do. I only need one more flower now. It's getting late as well. Shall we go and do painting roulette? And, um, yes. And uh, go go to, to Betty. I'm doing. I'm really can... catching up, though. Oh, I know. Be... I know. It's really close. It, it's so close. I, I think it might be just down to uh, down to, to luck mainly. But yeah. who knows? Who knows? There might be. Oh, sorry, sorry, horse. Sorry, horse. I was after the flowers. Oh, I just punched a horse. Ah, there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Um, what do I do? There's a creeper in, in Animal Paradise. No, no, Ooh, no, 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 no. All right, I need to try and make it blow up in the the water or not blow up at all. Would be nicer. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where'd it go? It's round here somewhere. It's round here. Oh, there it is! There it is! Oh, I don't want to hit all the animals. It's really dangerous to fire an arrow in here. And there we go. That was a, that was a bit of a panic. <laughs> right, I got my... I got, I got six. I got six flowers. I should get some bonus dirt for that, I think. Are you over by, by Kevin? Oh, I was just watching the race. That's all. <laughs> you over by the, by the I'm grass. coming by Kevin. <laughs> I'm near Kevin. And hello! <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, let's go and do a, a round of painting roulette. If you don't know let's what this do is, it. basically we, we do get it. a random item from our friend Kevin here. And if we oh, get a painting, know. then we they win. They know. They know. Well, they know. They know. They I know. They, so they just they in know. case. Just in case. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Scratch you. Good <laughs> evening. Are you ready for another <laughs> exciting round of painting roulette? <laughs> if anything, you look a little bit too excited. Woo! Why not calm yourself Woo! down and give my belly button a little tap? Okay, a boo. Steak. And a pork chop. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! And um. I got a piece of bread. Brilliant! I read that to my other 18 pieces of bread I had. Fantastic. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, Good night, Squishy! Good night, Stampy! Sleep well. Right, I want my. I, I, I want my dirt, please. Like I got I got six flowers. That's more wow. flowers than you asked for, you okay, see? Okay, I'll give you I a stack and seven. I, Okay, <laughs> is that is that that's must be what the exchange rate is? One yes. flower per seven pieces of of yes. dirt. All right, let's, yes. let's go get some. Let's go get some work done. Oh, hello! You're a very smartly dressed googly, aren't you? Look at you uh, in all of your fancy clothes. Look at this get the guy. armor. <laughs> get the armor. Do, 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 get the armor. Does it like protect them? Because he's not burning. Look. Uh, or is that just because he was under here? Because the other one was. Me so I try and lead him out here. Okay. Uh, run, squishy, run, move, move quicker. <laughs> let, 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 let's bring him out here to see if see if he burns or not. I don't know. I think it protects him. Help! Look at this. Ah! How can we keep ah, him? Yeah, oh, no, no, yeah, don't, don't kill him! Don't kill him! Okay. Don't kill him! Ah. Let's see, see if I see if I can get him go. Okay, run away. See if I can get him going after me. Just, just, okay. just run far away. See if you're gonna kill see, him. See if I can. No, no, no I, I want to bring him in. I, I want to bring him okay. to the, the restaurant. Out, we can I'm serve out. him. It's our first customer. Okay, okay, but make sure you got full full hunger, so so you don't get so your health goes. Okay, he's he's after me now. I go and I, I go bring him in. Come on, go get ready. Go get the food. Go and go get the mushrooms cooking, Squishy. We've got I'm our just, first I'm customer here. We haven't finished. This, 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 is, a, this is a reviewer. He's, creeper, he's come creeper, to, to creeper, review creeper, the creeper, restaurant. Run, 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 run. Creeper, uh, creeper, 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 creeper. Okay, I, I, I get the, the creeper. Oh, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. This would be much easier if there wasn't a zombie behind me as well. A zombie? Zomba. A zombie. Okay, make sure, sure everyone's uh, tidy everything up. So sweep all the dirt. Stamps. Okay, this is, he's he's going to write a review on the, the restaurant. How and depending on what his review is, will determine how many customers problem. we get. There's a problem. Just, just, just get it sorted. Sort, sort no, the problem. No, how could... Stop, there's a problem. What's Listen up? Listen to me. How is he going to get down the water elevator? Um, we'll be fine. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. We'll, we'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted. Right, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm leading him in. Uh, I'm, I'm leading him in. We might have to just dig away a, a little him. bit of a, a, a hole for him to, to drop down through. Uh, oh, is that the dance floor I can see there? <laughs> no, this is just a rug. Um, this is just a pretty rug, a mushroom rug. He doesn't seem too too bothered with falling down. If I kind of like, I'm, I'm playing spleef with him. I'm playing spleef with the, the zombie at the moment. Uh -huh, <laughs> he's chasing ground. after me. <laughs> <You're ruining it. laughs> Come on, fall through. He does. Oh, 
He won. <laughs> I lost spleef against the, the zombie. <laughs> right, let's see if I can... get a, Maybe if we build a little bit of a staircase, then that way he won't hurt himself either. Here we go. This is um, this is only because of the opening night. Eventually, the, the uh, everything will be working properly, sir. So if you come down here, we have a, a table specially for you. Uh, you can come and sit down. Come on, Squishy, go in the kitchen. You've got to make the food. You, gotta, you make the food, now, and I'll bring it out to him. Oh, he's dancing. He, he wants to dance to build up an appetite before his meal. So we're going to go and some have a little bit of a boogie. Okay, yeah, that, that is our, our speciality. Um, do you want to come and uh, let me go? Let me go and prepare a, a lovely table for you, sir. If you come sit down, uh, sit down right about here. I'm just gonna have to block you in a little bit because you're a little bit fidgety today. Uh, if I just build these blocks around here like this, sir. Um, do, you, sir do you want to give me sir. a hand getting him, showing him to his his seat here? Squishy. Oh, is this his um, seat? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. If you if you give me give me a hand, I'm just gonna lead him around here for a little bit. Then we can get him all seated. And then we can get him some some tasty some tasty num nums. Let's just. Go I've and, got him the uh, num build. nums. Don't worry, ah. I've got it. Stamps, get, oh, okay. I'd get I, out I, if I were you. I, I need, don't, don't, don't block it up, don't block it up, don't block it up. Oh no, okay, he, he came out, there's, there's one gap, there's one gap, okay? So you mm. need to let me get out, and, and then, <laughs> and, we, and we can put him in, okay? Okay, right, let's, let's put him through here, through here. If we do a um, stair, that's, that's like one going block. up. That's not going oh. to work. <laughs> not if you jump in, he can't and then dive can through head first. <laughs> Um, right, okay, I'm, I'm leading him around, I'm leading him around. I've got to lead him around the long way a little bit just to get my, my health up a little bit higher. Okay, if I, if I jump in like this, then hopefully he's going to follow in and then we can block it off. Okay, get him in, get him in, get him in. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, he fell out the other side again. <laughs> he won't sit down, Squishy. Okay, if you open it up again, and if you just open. block it off behind me, I can hopefully okay. pile up and get out that Come way. Come on, Stamps, maybe. we can do it. Okay, but I've only got three hearts though, so it's getting a little bit, a little this bit dangerous. This is how I treat all my customers. <laughs> this is how Ready? we uh, we treat all and of you. Go. Oh, no, block him in, go. block him in. Okay, he's blocking. Okay, oh no, he's, he's on the top. In. He's on the top. He didn't go in. Oh no, he's fallen back down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm trying to go in. Oh no, I can't. Okay. Oh no, no, this isn't good. I've only got two hearts. Try, try, can can you try zombie. and get him going after you? If I go up zombie. here, hopefully, hopefully he's going to go after you Where's instead. Zombie? Hello. Hi. Hi, is that, hi, come come this way. Come this way, sir. Um, he's looking at you. He can still see you. Is he? he? Okay, I'm just going to run you. miles away. It's because he he knew I was I was the, the manager of the Hello. restaurant, you see. So oh, he's giving dear. me all the, the attention. Oh, dear. He's coming. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> right, no. We've we got to get him. We've got to get him. Oh. So he needs to have a nice meal. No, 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 he's going to write a bad review. Oh, no, 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 no. He can't. He's going to be. Okay, uh, this way. Oh, there's a moose room in there. Help. 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 <laughs> Ready okay, to okay, run in, run in, run in. Okay, I blocked block it, it up. He's gonna kill me, he's gonna kill me, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! You need to get out, pile up, pile up! Oh. <laughs> the, these reviewers have an awful temper. Just because his seat wasn't ready, he goes and has to, to take it out on, on you like that. Come on, get back over here quick, Squishy. I am. We need to, to serve him. I'm sorry, um, first, I couldn't um, get out. First, some before, before dinner entertainment. Uh, we're going to hear the um, the amazing singing mooshroom who's next to him. So uh, I'm going to go three, two, one, and then the mooshroom is going to begin <clears throat> to sing. Three, two, one. I'm a mushroom, I'm a mushroom, and I really like to sing. I'm a mushroom, I'm a mushroom, and I like to sing. I am a singing mushroom, I hope you enjoy your food. I really Aww. am a mushroom, you killed Squishy, that's rude. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go serve him some some grub then, shall we? Let's well, go into the, the kitchen me. here. You killed uh, me. What, what do we What do we have? Right, I'm not going to serve him any of this old rubbish stuff. I'm going to do some of the the freshest, uh, most tasty uh, mushroom stew we we have here. So let's go and get a, a bunch of this uh, mushroom stew. Um, come on, you need to keep him entertained. You need to keep talking uh, to him. He needs hello, to have the sir. best time ever. I don't right, want uh, to be hello, nice sir. to this reviewer. Here's, here's your um. Here's your, here's your appetizer. I got you mushroom mm. stew. And then for your main course, uh, we got you some, some more mushroom stew. And then for dessert, a cheeky little bit of mushroom stew. There we go. Would you like, would you like a door? <laughs> and, 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 a, and a door as well, no, we got you. If, and if you don't like that, uh, we also have a mushroom stew uh, with extra mushroom. And then we also got mushroom stew uh, with mushroom sauce. I got and him, then we got so mushroom we go. stew uh, with mushroom stew uh, as well. So you can go in and eat stew. that up as well. Sorry, this is uh, invisible mushroom stew and this is just normal Squishy, do, 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 you think, do you think he's enjoying himself? Do you think it's working? Probably, he's looking at me weird. I don't know if he's enjoying it or not. He's giving me a, a look that he'd rather eat me. 
Um, he's, he's got a very a very blank expression. Um, let, let, let's just assume that he had the time of his life, shall we? That he had a nice little dance. Okay. He listened yeah. to the song. Had a delightful meal. The, we're going to get a five star rating for this place. We're going to have a five Definitely. star race, uh, restaurant. Look once at he's it. Look at it. It's beautiful. beautiful. Exactly. Restaurant. Exactly. What amazing progress we made this video. But sadly, uh, believe it or not, we have actually <laughs> somehow run out of time uh, already. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, we'll be uploading a, uh, a new episode of Skyden very soon, and we're going to actually carry on and probably try and actually do some good progress next time. That, that, that's the plan, anyway. That's always the plan. Uh, but it doesn't always doesn't always uh, work that way, does it? <laughs> no, not really. Hello, sir. All right, so uh, for now, we want to thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you uh, no, all no, 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 later. No. Bye! Bye. This is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, it is going to be me and the bear, me and Lee Bear together, building again the way it so often is. Sadly, uh, no other helpers with us today, and uh, the reason for that is because I think we're good enough. I don't think we need any more helpers today. I think we are good enough as a team that we can completely finish building the Maze Master game uh, with just the uh, the two of us. That's uh, that's what the uh, the plan is going to be. But before that, uh, we need to do all of our beginning video things, <laughs> and uh, we're actually going to. Skip Skip breakfast for now, and you're going to see why soon, but uh, we're instead are going to go straight over to the, uh, the love garden, and I'm going to be having my cake, and we're going to be doing the race after that, and I will explain why in uh, just one second, but first I want to say uh, a huge hello and uh, welcome to my love garden to Alexis, and that's because Alexis had uh, their uh, 11th birthday, and uh, they had a special guest of me, or at least someone dressed very closely to me, and you can see uh, that they decorated it with these huge Minecraft uh, dirt blocks, and also, look! how amazing the uh, the uh, Minecraft bouncy castle is in the background. I think it looks absolutely amazing. You see they had goodie bags and all sorts there. And I want to say thank you very much for sending me the uh, the picture. Uh, I hope you had a good birthday and welcome to my love garden. Anyway, the reason why I've skipped breakfast, I know it doesn't seem like me, is that because what I think we could do, uh, I'll race to the doghouse. We should race from whichever room we eat the cake in. In my last episode, I came up with a, a new idea that we could start eating breakfast in, a, in some different locations, rather than always having it in my bedroom, uh, we could eat it from somewhere else, and uh, then we can race to the doghouse from there. So let's go and, uh, I'm, I'm really slow right now because I'm really hungry. <laughs> let's have it in the bathroom. Um, eating food in the bathroom isn't generally a good idea, so uh, don't place it anywhere near here, Lee Bear. Let's place it near the, the bath. The bath is pretty clean. Let's just go and uh, squirt some water in. We can have some nice soggy cake. <laughs> and then uh, we can have breakfast here, and then tell you what, the second I have have the last slice of cake the race begins. That's going to be the, the starting line. <laughs> Most people fire a gun or wave a flag. We eat a cake. Right. Nom, 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 nom. There's, there, there's the, the final slice and the race has begun. The first person to the doghouse is going to choose which dog is going to be joining us for the duration of the video and I got onto a very good lead. I kind of have the advantage because I got to eat the cake. I kind of knew when I was going to, to eat the final slice. I know Lee's uh, quite a little bit behind me but oh no, I was too busy looking behind me. I actually ran into to the door but I'm now into the dog house and I'm now into the the dog house properly I think we're gonna count this as the the actual line as a being in the the dog case uh, dog house if you went that way and oh it's okay Lee it's only it's only for fun and all it really means is that I get to pick which dog's gonna join us so uh, it benefits both of us because I get to have a dog joining me and uh, how about Barnaby do you fancy joining me if you fancy joining me in this video make sure your collar stays red Yay! Barnaby wants to join me, so he can stand up. Let's go and uh, let's grab a, a few pork chops for him as well, just in case he gets peckish. I like cake, and my dogs like pork chops. Let's go and uh, grab uh, quite a few of these. Barnaby can be um, uh, very peckish sometimes when we're when we're building things. <laughs> and now let's go and head back over to the the fun land, uh, where we continue, uh, where we can continue uh, building the uh, the maze master game. And if you didn't see the last video, I recommend uh, seeing it first, uh, just so you know what the the game is. Uh, the general idea of it 
is that it's an invisible maze. Uh, by doing a little trick uh, where you put fence gates under the uh, the ground and then cover them with carpets, uh, you can open and close the, the fence gates uh, to give the effect of invisible walls. And in the last episode, we put down all of the, the fences and uh, we covered them all with carpets. And in this episode, we need to, uh, to do underneath the game, uh, basically decorate it a little bit more, uh, because at the moment, uh, I've tunneled out more than I did in the last video, uh, but it looks a little bit like a, an ugly cave and not uh, like one of my big and bright colourful uh, mini games. So we need to sort that out first, and I then also uh, need uh, to add a roof over everything. I need to add a big ceiling of glass uh, over the uh, the top, and uh, then we can go and have ourselves a little bit of a tester game. And oh, <laughs> we need to add a little a little bell on the the front of those mine carts. I think just so you know when someone's coming, so <laughs> you don't end up getting hit. And all uh, right, luckily uh, we're actually building qu uh, quite close by. I'm used to uh, having a really long trek running over to to wherever we're building over there, but luckily uh, we are building right about here, so we can get started immediately. And so there, this is what we did in the, the last episode. It doesn't look like much, uh, but underneath the uh, the carpet, you can see I'm kind of bobbing up and down, and that's because there's a, a whole load of uh, fence gates around here, and dogs love to jump around and dance on them. <laughs> and uh, underneath here, I'm going to get my sword out in case there's any googlies. Actually, it seems like the light can actually shine through the carpet. Look how bright it is down here. There's zero torches down here, uh, but it's all lit up and nice and lovely, and uh, ready for, for us to start building in. So Barnaby, uh, you can go and sit down here, and uh, we can begin building. So basically, uh, all I need to do is uh, copy uh, the, the pattern that's above me uh, underneath. So uh, this is the, the middle here, and uh, this is where the, the black wall is. So let me go and uh, try and just look up and try and work it out. That does not need to, to go here. Uh, is this in line for the, the corner? I guess if I just stand in it and look up, um, I don't know. I don't know if it is. It's actually really difficult uh, to build like this. Um, if I work out the exact middle, which is this one here, I can kind of just build around it and make sure it's uh, all equal. It should all be uh, five by five. So I think I need to, to go out to uh, about here. Uh, basically two blocks either side of the pillar and then two blocks either side of the pillar here and there we go This is the the patch uh, which is going to be in the the exact middle and uh, then all we need to do is uh, Copy the the rows that are above me So I'm going to start off with this uh, row of orange wool here And then I'm just going to keep alternating and uh, going around the the sides like this uh, So basically the ceiling uh, should look uh, exactly the same uh, as the uh, the floor and uh, then uh, We're going to do a, a pretty similar pattern uh, with the the walls as well And then hopefully once we're finished and added a, a few torches it's just going to look like a very big, bright, colourful room uh, in the uh, the same style as the uh, the game up above you. And uh, the stripes also uh, do play a little bit of a, a purpose in the game, in the fact that it makes it easier uh, to work out which uh, rows uh, you've opened a fence gate on. Uh, because the maze master is going to come down here, and uh, they're going to open a gate uh, on each row, on each kind of circle, and uh, they could say that, like, uh, oh, I've, I've opened a gate on the, the first orange one, and then I've opened it on the first blue one. It kind of helps you uh, keep track uh, on what row you have uh, opened gates on as well. So there is some purpose to it, uh, rather than it just looking really cool. So uh, we've actually done a pretty good job already with doing most of the, the floor. I might actually uh, do a little bit of a, a start on uh, the um, uh, on some of the, the walls. So let's make sure I start it in the, the right place. So let's go and uh, line it up uh, to make sure that I start doing the, the walls in the right place. And it's basically just going to be uh, more stripes uh, that are going to be orange and blue. So it looks like uh, there should be an outer row here, and then the wall should start here. So I I think I actually uh, made the uh, the tunnel uh, a little bit bigger than I uh, I needed to, but that's okay. It's better than making it <laughs> a little bit smaller than I needed to. So then there's going to be a blue stripe there, and then an orange stripe there. So you can see it kind of lines up perfectly uh, with the uh, the ceiling uh, above me. And then the only other thing I need to do is uh, sort out this entranceway uh, where the uh, the little ladder comes down. I'm going to make it uh, so it kind of pokes out a little bit, uh, just so then that way uh, the ladder's not going into the the middle of the room. And then the uh, the entire underneath will be done. And then the only the uh, other thing I need to do is uh, to go and uh, do all of the, the glass, uh, which is going to be uh, upstairs at the, the top there. And oh, I just realised I got so excited uh, with running over here, I didn't actually remember uh, to bring any of the uh, the glass with me. I did have a, a whole bunch uh, in the um, in the furnace, but I think hopefully uh, Lee Bear's got enough on him uh, that we should be able to, to get the entire thing uh, finished anyway. That's what the uh, the plan is. All right, let's go and uh, carry on uh, doing some of the, the floor along to here. Uh, so this should be, yep, this is an orange row here, and then it'll be a blue row next and then this should link it up uh, to the the wall here and uh, we should get a, a pretty good idea of what this room is going to, to look like basically uh, a whole load of uh, blue and orange stripes and uh, the way I come up with the the colors uh, for a lot of these mini games is that there's certain colors that just kind of look 
good together. If you do like a, a Google image search for uh, for color wheels or complementary colors, uh, you can see that there's certain colors that just go better together and just look a little bit nicer. So uh, I did um, one of the, the games recently, I built out of uh, yellow and purple. And that's because yellow and purple uh, generally just looks good together for some reason. It's just the way that uh, our eyes see the, the colors and the light uh, just means that the colors look good together. So uh, that's the reason I went for um, uh, the uh, the um, orange and the, the purple. And I don't know, there's just seems to be something a little bit mystical and hypnotic about it. I don't know. If, I don't know if you know what I mean because it's all about maze masters and things. I don't know. It just seemed to be the uh, the right color uh, for the the game as well. So what I normally do uh, is uh, when I'm kind of trying to come up with the the games is I'll try building uh, just a, a little tester uh, with a, a few different colors and uh, just see which one looks uh, best. And then once I've decided on my colors, I just have to dye a whole load of sheep <laughs> and then just spend uh, a long time uh, shearing them until I've got uh, enough wool uh, to to build what uh, I need to build. And we've actually uh, almost got it done down here already. I told you, I told you that me and Lee Bear are such a good building team that we could get this done all by ourselves. I am a little bit proud. So uh, I've got a, a little bit more blue wool here, uh, but I am starting to, to run out of the, the orange wool. But once again, uh, hopefully Lee Bear was more prepared than me and uh, uh, packed uh, some more wool. And uh, this here is the uh, the only other bit uh, that I really need uh, to worry about working out. So I guess if I go to uh, here like this and then uh, to here like this, I can do an orange stripe down there and I guess then this can then be blue so the ladder uh, is in the the exact right place uh, where it's going to be leading up so I guess I can kind of just work from that I might just kind of fill all of this in here with orange uh, rather than worrying about making it alternate uh, alternate because I don't think it will match up uh, to the the top you can see that the the top is kind of just all orange there uh, so I might just do uh, the the wall here uh, just the the exact same as that uh, so it all matches so I might just do orange like here like this and then get rid of these blocks and do uh, this whole wall as orange and actually I have just about run out of orange wool. Uh, do you have any um uh, spare orange wool on you at all Lee Bear that you might be able to, to pass my way? Thank you very much. And do you have any glass as well? I forgot to grab my glass. I don't know if we need to uh, to run home very quickly and grab some more. Uh, this should hopefully be enough. Uh, at least uh, uh, enough to, to get started and give a, a good idea what it's going to look like. And ooh, also we should probably think about adding a, a few torches down here because it was okay when it was day and uh, the sun was shining through the, the carpets, but now it's got a little bit darker. I wouldn't want any googly spawning in here. And Barnaby, come on, you knew I was about to build there, Barnaby. Don't lie and pretend you didn't know I was about to <laughs> about to, to start building there. I might actually make this so it all kind of just fits in perfectly. Uh, so there's just one little row here and uh, I might add, uh, yeah, I'll add blue there and then some orange here, here, here and down here like that. And uh, if I change this one, I think to, to orange as well. Does this look okay? I might actually do one strip of blue around here. You can see how quickly <laughs> I changed my idea for how I want to, to build things. If I add blue around there like that and that ladder there, there we go. That looks quite good. I think this uh, this entire room looks quite good actually. So let's go and uh, throw down a, a few of the uh, the torches uh, just to, to light this place up. Uh, if I just do uh, some like uh, along here like this, uh, there should be hopefully uh, at least uh, enough uh, to stop the uh, the googlies from spawning down here because this area is for maze masters only and uh, zombies and skeletons and creepers are not maze masters uh, they're just a little bit of a pain to be honest <laughs> right let's go and add uh, I think I'm going to add some torches uh, on the uh, the walls here as well uh, just to make sure it is uh, definitely lit, uh, lit up enough you can never uh, be too careful uh, when you're trying to, to stop googlies from spawning around the place so I'm going to put uh, one torch down here on the, the wall there and uh, then yeah I'm going to go upstairs and start placing uh, inside uh, some of the uh, the glass uh, which is very important because uh, otherwise the whole invisible wall effect uh, just basically doesn't work and oh <laughs> Lee Bear's being very careful uh, watching for googlies up here actually tell you what uh, there are uh, a couple beds down here the safest way uh, to make sure that googlies won't be arriving uh, is to, to see, uh, sleep safely in bed for the night and then in the morning it should be light enough uh, that none are going to, to be spawning anyway so uh, now uh, let's go and uh, begin work uh, on the uh, on the ceiling so first I need to build a a few pillars uh, on the other uh, corners here uh, which are going to be holding up all of the the glass uh, so I'm going to go up to about here and then just kind of do these little blocks here and then this basically does a, a frame uh, where we can go and start placing uh, in all of the the glass so the glass is basically going to be above everything apart from uh, the the very middle there because in the the very middle 
and that's going to be where we get up. And oh, actually, is this the right height? This is. Look, you can see that I can't walk under it unless the the gate was uh, was open. So uh, if I just go and uh, build this the uh, the whole way in, and then this will be uh, the game come completely done. The only other little thing that I kind of need to do uh, is to add fences uh, around the the outside of the the game, which doesn't really matter too much, uh, but it just means that it kind of just sort of sort, sort of like segments off the game and just sort of says this is where the game is, you know, just so uh, we don't get any people wandering onto it and getting stuck inside of the <laughs> the invisible maze and not wondering uh, why they're able to, to walk anywhere so uh, let's just go on the uh, the inside here and I can just go and start building this glass all in a uh, big long rows along here and then once we've filled it all in uh, me and Lee Bear can have a little bit of a, a test to go uh, where we can take turns being the the maze master and uh, trying to come up with a, a devious pattern uh, that the other person needs to, to navigate their way through but I think when the the game's gonna be really fun is when we have a whole load of people uh, playing the uh, the game together it kind of does work as a 1v1 game. I guess you could do it as a time trial. I guess you could time how quickly one person takes uh, to get to the, the middle of the maze and uh, then switch around. But I think when it's going to be most fun is when there's a whole load of people all in the, the maze together and uh, they're all struggling uh, to get their way into the middle. i tell you what we could do then. We could do it so it's uh, three of us. It could be me, Lee and Barnaby. And we can see who can get to the, <laughs> the middle of the, the maze any better. We can see which species of animal is the uh, the best at navigating invisible walls. Is it going to be a cat? Is it going to be a dog? Or is it uh, going to, to be a bear? <laughs> anyway, I keep placing these in the wrong place. Actually, I don't even know why I'm destroying them because uh, they do need to, to go there anyway. Uh, the only place they uh, don't need to go uh, is uh, in this very middle area because uh, there's actually going to be some ladders here. And uh, I've got one ladder on me here, which I can place so I can jump up. And uh, then I'm going to go and uh, run over to my crafting table. And uh, see, look at that. Instead of making a new crafting table, for once I actually decided to, to head over over to one of the, the old ones. And I can go and make a, a whole load of these ladders. And I'm actually uh, going to place some of these ladders on. Actually, I'm going to make a few more because I'm going to be placing some of them uh, on the, the pillars uh, that are on the, the outside as well. So these are going to be up here. And uh, that's just in case you need to get to the middle of the maze for some reason. Say, uh, if you're the maze master and uh, you just want to get onto the, the top so you can watch, uh, then there's just going to be ladders here so you can go and uh, climb up and do that. And so I'm going to go to the, the middle as well and I add a, a whole more uh, section of ladders around here uh, so that whoever wins and gets to the middle uh, isn't then going to be stuck there forever. <laughs> they do have a, a way to, to get back out uh, rather than just having to go through uh, the entire maze again. So uh, let's just go and add a, a few more ladders around here and then I guess I can start adding some of the, the fences uh, around the, the outside as well uh, just to, to block the, the rest of the, the game off uh, from everywhere else. So uh, I should hopefully have enough wood on me. Yep, I got 48 uh, blocks of wood and I can make pretty much all of that into the, the planks and then pretty much all of those planks uh, into these sticks and then that's what I can use in order to, to make these uh, these fences. Uh, so let's go and make uh, as many of these as we can. Uh, hopefully uh, 62 uh, will be enough to, to be able to, to be around uh, the entire outside uh, of this area here. I'm not sure if it will be but I do have uh, enough wood on me uh, to go and cut some some more down and Barnaby, <laughs> Barnaby had to make a decision there. I saw him on one side of the, the gates and I saw him deciding shall I stay on this side or shall I quickly jump through and uh, join Stampy and I'm glad to say uh, that he decided uh, to jump through and uh, join me and yeah we're definitely uh, not going to have to have enough of these fences because uh, there's 25 on each side and I've only got uh, about 15 left so I am gonna have to, to make a few more of them uh, but I'm glad to say uh, that once these are down that is literally uh, the game completely done to the point where there is nothing uh, else for us to do to it apart from to play it which is always the the best thing about mini games <laughs> it's always more rewarding rather than just I think playing games other people have made or like going on PC and like going on servers and uh, playing games that other people have made. I think there's always something a little bit more fun and special uh, when you build the game yourself and you can design it and do it exactly as you want and then when you play it with friends there's just something a little bit more fun and special about doing it that way uh, rather than just only playing games that other people uh, have made for you. So that's why I always enjoy playing my, my own mini games <laughs> and it's always good to uh, have a chance to, to play with all my friends as well. So there we go. The, the last fences are down and uh, so it's now time uh, to have a little bit of a, a tester on the game then. So Lee Bear, do you want to be the maze master first or would you like to have a go in the maze? So either uh, go downstairs or just stand ready. Oh, it looks like he wants me to be the, the maze master right then. So you got to wait there for one second, Lee Bear. And I need to go down here and I need to start opening some of these gates. So uh, seeing as it's the, a bit of a test to go, I'm going to make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to open uh, two gates uh, on each side uh, just to make it easier for him to get to. Because it's also going to be a little bit harder uh, seeing as he 
he's going to be going by himself. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder for him to get through because uh, he basically can't copy uh, what anyone else is doing. So I'm going to open some here as well. And I'm going to open some down here just to uh, make it a little bit more easy. I'm going to add, uh, add a few more random ones uh, just around the place like that. And so now, uh, only the, the gates that I've opened will Lee Bear uh, be able to, to get through uh, to make his way to the uh, the middle. So it looks like, uh, looks like Barnaby's already started, Lee Bear, so I'd go uh, as fast as you can <laughs> and uh, try and uh, and try and get your way through. I'm going to quickly uh, make uh, a few more ladders uh, just so I can climb up to the, the top on this side over here and uh, then I can watch over, over Lee Bear. So uh, the first thing he needs to do uh, is find the uh, the first patch uh, of, uh, of open gates just so he can get uh, his way uh, into the, uh, the maze uh, to start with. Uh, because when you you have most games where you're racing uh, there's a uh, one very definite starting line uh, and uh, that's where you will start uh, he needs to find the starting line and it looks like he has uh, he's just now made his way uh, through the the first gate and uh, how's Barnaby doing Barnaby looks like he's just dancing <laughs> because he's shorter than Lee Bear uh, he doesn't get stuck like Lee Bear does uh, so he should find it easier and there we go Barnaby's the winner and got into the middle <laughs> only joking only joking oh Lee Bear's making some some really good progress actually uh, he's uh, he's probably over halfway uh, through the maze. I think he's only got uh, two more rows of gates to get through. Make that one more row of gates to get through and he did it. He made his way into the middle. Congratulations, Lee Bear. You won the race against yourself and you were able to get to the middle. It was a good test though. Right then, it's now your turn to be the, the maze master. So you can hop downstairs and uh, you can shut uh, a few of my gates. Actually, I might give you a hand uh, shutting all of the, the gates that I opened and then I'm going to go back upstairs and uh, you can go and uh, open uh, a few more for me uh, just like I did for you and uh, we can see whether I can uh, get to the middle uh, just uh, as quick as you did. So there's a few more gates open over here and one open here. There's uh, a couple I opened uh, together over here. Uh, but when we play the, the game properly and uh, there's a whole group of us, uh, we won't be opening uh, as many gates as uh, we are now for this uh, test to go. Uh, there'll only be one gate open uh, on each row. So uh, Liebe, it's now your turn to be the, the maze master. Uh, you can go and uh, start opening all of the, the gates that you want. And then come upstairs, give me a little nod, and uh, then I know that I can go and uh, begin my go uh, trying to, to get to the, the middle. So I don't actually know uh, how fast Lee Bear was, uh, but I guess I can kind of guess to, uh, to whether if I was uh, quicker than him or not. <laughs> it's probably not a, a very accurate way, but uh, we're not really playing to, to win now. Uh, we're only really playing for fun and uh, just to, to test out uh, whether the, the game actually works or not. So it uh, looks like Lee Bear's still down underneath, uh, opening up some of the, the gates, trying to decide the route. Uh, so I guess you could either open gates really close to each other and uh, hope that they're going to miss them. Like, say if there's a gate open here and you open one right next to it to the left but the other person goes right, they're going to have to go the entire way round uh, before, having to, before being able uh, to get to the next row. But if you opened a gate here and then opened another one on the complete opposite side, you know that they won't have the chance of taking as long but you know there's a, a you know there's a good chance that no matter what it's going to take them a while to get to the next row i don't know if that made any sense but it did to me <laughs> right then lee bear am i am i able to to begin can i can i start my journey right so uh, all i need to do now is find the entrance and woo i was able to to get into the the first row uh, very quickly there let's see if i can get into the middle before barnaby oh there we go I got forward a little bit more there, and oh no, looks like Barnaby's already pretty much way, uh, made his way to the, the middle. So what you kind of want to do is just sort of push into the, the wall and slide along uh, just like that, and uh, see how far you can uh, you can get through. So uh, you can never get through on the, the corners, so they don't uh, matter that much. And so if I was playing against other people, I would also be trying to, to watch all of them and uh, see when they get further into the middle, and then you can quickly rush over to where they were, or if they're ahead of you, kind of remember which way they went to get into the middle and then that way you can have the uh, the best chance of getting the the fastest route into the middle and i'm nearly there i'm so nearly there just one more gate to get through which side is it going to be on i reckon this side nope this side over here i think this is the last side i've not checked and oh no i don't think i could get on that side either oh, i was here <laughs> i went right past it before but there we go i was able to to get into the middle i think uh, that was about the uh, the same time as it took lee bear to, to get through as well and here's my prize a nice big cake but you know what I don't think I deserve the cake. I think that the real winner here was Barnaby because he won both times. So here you go, Barnaby. Uh, you can have some pork chops for your reward. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. But sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. So in the next episode, I'm going to be inviting in a few of my friends and we can have a Maze Master tournament, uh, which should be a jolly good fun. Uh, but sadly, as I said, there's no more time now. So I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!